Finding a great gift for dad can be stressful, but don't worry because we have the perfect idea to help impress the father in your life, cologne. For many guys, this is an undiscovered territory, yet you're probably wondering how you can pick out something that dad will love and actually use. That's where our next guest comes in. Jennifer Gilberts is a perfumer with Prairie Artisan Fragrances, and she's here to share some tips on how to choose the perfect scent for that special father in your life. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you, and thank you for having me back. Now, I have to say, choosing even just perfume for myself gives me anxiety. There's so many to choose from, I never know what to get. And so I find something I like and I just stick with it forever because I don't really know what else to do. But picking something for someone else, especially a guy, which a lot of them don't even wear cologne, where do we even start? First off, I would start with uh, trying to get to know them in the sense of what do they eat, what do they drink, foods. So if someone likes food that maybe has a lot of herbs in it, or spices, you can usually guarantee that they're gonna follow suit with their fragrance that they wear. Okay, so as far as memories go, yes. how do I relate that back to scent? I'm gonna give you a memory for me. Okay. Um, it is in my backyard out at the farm. Our yard had lilac bushes all the way around. Um, and in the spring, when it would rain, you could always smell the really dark black earth or ground, dirt, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the smell of the lilacs blooming with the rain, the, the you know, dirt, those bring back really fond memories for me of just being at home, being relaxed. It's, a, it's kind of a calming effect for me. So memories can really play a huge part of scent memory as well. You can recall, I remember uh, coming home one Thanksgiving and smelling apple pies and pecan pies being baked and thinking, oh my goodness, this is the most wonderful smell. That maybe isn't something you're going to wear, but <laughs> you can definitely have it as a room fragrance. So it, memories play a huge part of, of fragrance. So. So let's talk about some of the different fragrances you have. And actually, one of the fragrances that you would say is either for male or female probably, but really was developed for men, I actually like, and that's the one I use because I just like it so much. But let's just kind of talk about the different ones you brought in and what that scent smells like and okay. what we can expect from that. Okay. The first one I'm going to um, talk about is Highlander. So this actually is... Uh, a fragrance that I designed after I took a trip to Scotland. And this one smells like minerals, like the earth. Uh, it also has kind of the aromatic grasses and, and vegetation that grows on the mountainsides. Uh, I also put in a little bit of, a, I'm gonna call it an ocean smell, sea smell. So, it's to depict kind of being close to the sea and all the villages that are along the seaside. Anyway, this is a, a new one and has been doing very nicely. <laughs> it sounds like it. And I it's love the, the thought that you put into creating these. Um, if I were to, you know, think of something and I, I like those maybe earthy smells, is that something that isn't as strong maybe for someone who doesn't wear a lot of cologne? Um, the earthy smells, do you mean like, do you, do you like them or? Like if I were picking something out for the father in my life and he, maybe he doesn't ever wear cologne and so I oh. want to start with something more subtle, would you recommend those types no. of earthy? You wouldn't? No, okay. I wouldn't. Um, I would probably recommend something more citrusy, clean, bright smelling. Um, this one is salt and light. This one is very vibrant. It is also a unisex. Uh, it has a lot of bergamot, orange flower in it. So there's a lot of citrus, and that's what brings it that golden color too. Is that is the bergamot and narrowly narrowly is a, a orange blossom as well. So. And then you also have a couple of different scents too that use that tobacco smell yes. in it. That's my favorite. <laughs> Whenever I burn candles or anything, I love that smell. Churchill is your favorite, right? Churchill, yep. Churchill is my favorite. <laughs> yep. Yes. Um, tobacco, over the past 
two years, I would say tobacco is a really huge note that you would find in fragrances. This upcoming year, we're switching to a dark cherry. So hopefully you'll start seeing a few more dark cherry fragrances come out, which is different. But um, when you take it in context of a masculine fragrance, you know, mixing it with a bourbon or a tobacco, those are yummy smells. They get really warm and en enveloping. So yeah, I love them. <laughs> so when applying this for males, where, where do you apply it to to have it last the longest or to really get the full effect of the smell? I like to put it actually on my pulse points, so behind your ear, oh, your behind chest. Your ear. Yep. Okay. Yep. Even on the back of your neck, um, the crooks of your arm, like your elbow, behind your knee, um, and you can also spray it, you know, over your full body. If you are looking for something to smell exactly like the bottle, which not a lot of people will recommend this, but I do spray on my clothing. Uh, just so that the scent remains true. You spray it in the air and then walk through the cloud of fragrance. That way you don't end up with spots all over your clothing. But <laughs> so sometimes that smell that we love in the bottle on us might not actually smell the same because Correct. of our pH levels? It has everything to do with uh, how oily your skin is. Oil will trap the fragrance molecules and make it so it isn't diffusive. But if you have drier skin, the alcohol helps diffuse and will make it more noticeable. So that's why you'll see most perfume companies will have alcohol-based or they will have a roll-on type of fragrance, which is an oil-based. And those are really good for people with dry skin. Okay, well, great information. <laughs> I learned a lot today. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for coming in and giving us a few ideas that we could get for Dad. Thank you.